Hi, in this video we are going to look at the key components of NASTEC and how to connect all the different bolts together and make the complete system going. So this is the main board, the main NASTEC board. So this board has the processor and all the sensors. So this is all the key components uh, of NASTEC. But this board does not provide any kind of interface or power regulation and things like that. So for that you need to use one of the interface boards. So we have three interface boards available. So this is IV Pro. This has most of the features, all the different ports for NASTIC as well as Ogro and all the power related features. This is IV Easy. This has all the features that are required in a typical autopilot kind of an application but it does not have access to Ogro ports. And this is IV Lite. This again has uh, many of the features of IV Pro but it is in a very small package and it does not have connectors. So instead of connectors it uses these pads. Right? So in most for most applications we suggest users to go for IV Pro because this has maximum number of features for any generic application. The only downside is that it will little big in size. So unless your application is very weight critical, go for IV Pro. So this IV Pro board, for example if you select this board, so let's keep these two out. If you select this board, this will just easily, you know, Navstick will just snap it on top of this board. So this is it. So this Navstick is connected to IV Pro now. So this is your complete system which will go on your vehicle. right? So now in order to program this system or to use this system we also need another board, the ground board. right? If you just want to do a plain programming of this board you can just use the micro USB cable and you don't need the ground board. But ground board is very useful if you have to do JTAG debugging for example or if you have to do if you have to connect to the Navstick or Ovro console or anything like that. Right. So how to connect these boards now together? So there is a cable called debug cable available. So this is your debug cable. So one end of this cable goes into the ground board, something like this. Right. And this is inserted in your PC. And the other end of the cable goes here to the debug board. Right. So now this ground board is connected to your onboard system. Right. So this is one part of the story. The other thing that you will need to connect is power. So you can power this board either using a battery. So you can insert the battery connector here and power it using the battery. Or when you are developing your ground application during that time when it is on ground, you can just power it using a micro USB cable. This is your micro USB cable and this is the USB port. So now in the end you have these two USB ports available which need to go to your PC. So these two ports, one will provide power and the other will provide JTAG debugging and access to Navstick console etc. So this is the first part of getting started with Nastic. Thank you for watching the video.